Once a week, every Sunday, I'll be sending out a challenge to my email list and patrons to test you and your knowledge. These tasks should take no more than an hour of your time and is a good way to practice without just copying and pasting. If you want to join these challenges, sign up for my email listing, which is free, or join my Patreon. Link is down below. Welcome back, everyone, to this challenge, weekly challenge. Uh, as you can see here, we have two effects that are kind of a weather effect. Now, this challenge is a bit more unique because there wasn't actually no coding for this uh, challenge required. Uh, there are two things, or two little tricks that I'm going to basically show you to achieve these effects. Now, the first one is called the God Ray, the light. Now, this is actually a shader, and I will link the uh, original creator of this shader down below. It is on the Godot Shaders website. It is a very, very cool shader, very popular. And this type of effect, the God Ray effect, is actually a very popular type of shader inside of the game industry. So this is definitely something you should take a look at. And now just to uh, double check with you guys, to make this work, uh, this comment right here allows you to work it with it in Godot 4. So make sure you add this at the top and replace hint color with source color. And I can show you what that will look like inside of Godot. So the shader, once you copy paste it, I've just added this right here. And then somewhere right here, I believe, uh, I've replaced the hint color with source color and all your errors should go away. And if you just attach this shader script to a uh, color rectangle, you should be able to get this. Now inside of the shader material, uh, if you go to shader parameters, this will appear once you attach the script or write the script, you can now adjust a lot of the uh, things for this guy, right? So you can adjust the angle, uh, right, like that, position, stuff like that spread, which is pretty cool, and etc. right? So you can uh, cut it off like that, whatever you'd like, right? So you can now adjust this sort of god ray quite nicely. Now for the uh, particle effects, the rain or the snow you might have noticed, I'm using a uh, CPU particle 2D. Now for this guy, essentially what I've done is I've just spread out the particles and made it random. So these are the settings that I've used. You're more than welcome to just copy paste it. Uh, but I do suggest you play around with it on your own because a lot of this might not work perfectly to your project. Uh, but the basic idea, of course, is we increase the amount. So of course, if you want to increase the amount of snow, you can do that too. So there's even more. Now the lifetime, uh, I don't think it'll really work well with one because now it looks like that. So uh, increase that to quite a bit, like maybe 10 or 15 seconds. And eventually it should die out somewhere way down below. Uh, and then the pre-process, I've set it to 20 seconds. And then the randomness does have to be uh, high, I believe. Otherwise, it just kind of looks very similar, right? Uh, all right, and then the gravity, that is the one that I've changed the most. So obviously, by default, it is 980. And if you look at it now, it just looks like it's raining, I guess, right? So this is something that you could change in code. Maybe throughout the day, this increases or decreases. That could be cool to see. And then the initial velocity, I've increased it to about 200 to make sure that it actually spreads out to the right. If I decrease this back to zero, it just goes straight down, right? So uh, I think around from anywhere from 100 to 200 is a pretty good value for this. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the snow effect, right? It gives it that kind of snow effect. And I do move this uh, to the left hand side away from the screen, right? Now, if you want, you could maybe make this guy follow the player. So if you make it part of the player, it would follow with the player wherever it goes. And so that snow effect will follow the player at all times. That could be something that you do. All right, but that is pretty much it for this challenge. Uh, it was kind of a interesting challenge in the sense that there's no code uh, involved. It was mostly just some cool effects that you may or may not know about Godot. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next challenge next week. And I will see you there.